Well, hello, everyone. We have a really, we have a really good topic today. Let me, let me just read it here. Normal symptoms after a high quality session with the unseen therapist. What most people, what most people expect is, well, I've got this healing thing. Good. I'm, I'm free. You know, great. No more of that. But often other symptoms show up and they are normal. We're going to talk about that. And with me to, to help me do that is Gabrielle Rutan. MD. So say hello, Gabrielle. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Gabrielle is not only an MD, she's a director of our um, of the Gary Craig official EFT training center in the Dutch language. And, and she has a, a lot of wisdom on this topic in particular. And so we're going to get right into it. So Gabrielle, somebody, some, a client of yours or of mine or a student you know, of our optimal EFT course gets a, gets a really good healing, some disease, some other set of symptoms or something like that. Wow. It even got, either it got a lot better or it just vanished or something like that. And then they have headaches or they have a backache or other symptoms you can mention. What's really going on there? Yes, let's dive into that, because if you do a high quality session, during the session, you go through stress because you want to, you know, be specific, go through stuff. And and as soon as the stress phase is done, another phase starts, which is the healing phase. Now, the stress phase is organized by your sympathetic stress reaction. Everybody probably has heard of this one. The other one, the counterpart to it, is the parasympathetic relaxation response. Why do I name them both? Because they need to be in balance. If you've gone through a lot of stress, afterwards you go through the relaxation response to balance out again, to regroup. The body needs to recover from whatever stress was going on. And so, and you know, some of these quest, um, symptoms everybody recognizes because during your session you might start yawning you might have little you know watery eyes not not crying or anything but just watery eyes or more more um fluids and all that that is this uh, uh, parasympathetic stress response now that continues after the session and typical symptoms after you have resolved a lot of stress is first of all and foremost fatigue like really tired, like really increased increased need for sleep. Yeah, I uh, let me interject. I, I see mm -hmm. that with great frequency, and it's reported with great frequency. It's like we're going through this session, we're bringing up other stuff, and you know, it's this is not too comfortable stuff, and it takes a lot more energy than people think. And when they're done, it's kind of like a Wow, you know, I mean, let me go lie down, let me go sleep or something. But yes. you're also talking about, I think, fatigue that might last more than 30 minutes or take a nap kind of thing. You're talking about fatigue that might last a day or two or three or something? A couple of days. It might be just like a couple of hours. But if you've gone like through like a really severe, stressful uh, package of events, so to speak, it might, you know, you might be severely fatigued for a day or three, four. Yeah. So uh, fatigue and then headaches, quite often headaches are mentioned. Not everybody. It's, so I'm not, I'm not trying to say that if you don't have these symptoms that, you know, you haven't worked hard enough because not everybody has these symptoms, but they're frequently uh, uh, encountered. So fatigue, headaches, in fact, any kind of inflammation, anything with fever, really points to you're in the healing phase after stress. This and this, you know, people are not used to looking at symptoms like that, because as soon as there's fever, they identify this as the problem and think now I have a problem, I have fever, I have inflammation or whatever, I need to tackle this. Most often you don't, because a fever will only arise after you've gone through stress. And so after uh, EFT after working with the unseen therapist at least fatigue and headaches 
and tiredness and really, you know, really increased need for sleep is general symptoms. And then there's a bunch of symptoms that are a little bit more specific. Why? Because of what organ or symptom uh, was involved in whatever you were working on. Well, for example, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to give an example of what you just said, a specific kind of thing. Um, I was dealing with another MD, a student of ours, you know, for our optimal EFT course. And by the way, there's some essential links below this video. Uh, you know, it, it points you to our advanced course. It points you to a, my free ebook, The Unseen Therapist, and as well as a newsletter and so on. But this, this one lady was having leaky gut syndrome. And, and, and from a simplicity point of view, um, and this, at least this is my understanding, is that is that her intestinal walls become porous or weak or get holes in them or something like that. And the intestinal contents tend to leak out and into the system. And that's just begging for all kinds of symptoms you don't want. Okay. So anyway, she was having that. And as I recall it, we never aimed at this, her various symptoms. We might've done a little bit of that, but mostly there were some emotional issues involved. Uh, it was surrounding issues with her son and so on. The leaky gut symptoms vanished. Hmm. I took, I think it took us three sessions or I think after the third session, they were pretty much gone. Sessions being one or two days apart. But she points out to me, she had as, as a reason, right after that, severe diarrhea. I mean, I mean, you know, once an hour, one, twice an hour, up, off to the toilet we go, you know. Um, and, you know, she was wondering if that isn't, you know, some kind of a negative symptom. But you and I talked about it. And no, that's an, an expected healing response. So talk about that some, could you? Yes, yes. So, uh, again, uh, the body goes through these programs and has to recover from stress. And so if she, she had a problem in her gut and a typical healing symptom of the gut is diarrhea. So yeah. as soon as whatever the underlying emotional issue was is resolved, a typical reaction could include, may include uh, diarrhea. And um, in her case, it did which yeah. just indicates that something really got shifted there as far as the uh, the underlying root cause is concerned. Okay. Absolutely. And it, yeah, and again, that doesn't mean um, that everybody is going to have diarrhea no. or some or no. some other kind of symptom. It's just, no. it, is, it is saying if you do have a symptom like that, don't panic immediately. Exactly. It's exactly. It's probably a healing yes. response. Now. Yes. Now, another question then comes up, and, and this would be from the non-MD, which is just about everybody listening in, okay? Well, how am I going to know if these symptoms I may get after a quality healing with unseen therapist are a healing response or indeed some other symptoms from some other ailment? How am I going to know that? The most important thing is to realize that even though conventional medicine sort of completely focuses on the diarrhea, on fever, on headaches, uh, backaches, stuff like the, that. The symptoms. The symptoms. Yeah. Um, they really are part and parcel of the healing phase. What do I mean by that? Again, after you've gone through a stress period and you resolve this with EFT, or you go through some really severe traumatic experiences in your session, that's the same thing. You, you, you go through them uh, on purpose, so to speak. After that, the body needs to rebalance with a parasympathetic uh, relaxation response. And again, so fatigue, uh, fevers, headaches are all part of the healing phase, but so is diarrhea. And uh, most bodily symptoms most bodily symptoms belong in belong to the healing phase why 
because in the stress phase, the body is ready to fight and flight that you need to, you know, there's action is needed. So in the stress phase, you normally experience very few symptoms. You're just, you know, geared up to fight or flight or freeze if that is necessary, but stuff needs to be done. So the, the symptoms happen in the, in the relaxation phase, in the healing phase. Well, okay, so let me ask you this, Gabrielle. Um, so I have a whole bunch of symptoms that I, I get worried about, okay? And I go to a doctor, and the doctor says, oh, we think you have, I'm going to make this up, okay, Parkinson's disease. I've got fatigue, you know, some, you know, I've got some shakiness, I've got whatever. And so he gives us a label of Parkinson's disease. Okay. Now, I may have picked out picked out a good example or not. I don't know. But you did. But behind all this, behind all this is a question. Parkinson's disease has a lot of symptoms. That's you know, that's the doctor asked you about him, and oh, he looks in his his list of symptoms and what that means and Parkinson's. Okay. So those symptoms. Those are healing responses? Yep. Yes. So here it now gets a little complicated and it's probably quite a big subject for a short video. But if you look at this, because you always need to look at the symptoms, but the symptoms of Parkinson's, fatigue is a healing symptom. The, the tre tremors, the shaking is a healing symptom of what we call a motor conflict. So you and those are conflicts where you you feel stuck in a situation where you feel you can't move, either literally or figuratively speaking. So Parkinson's is an example of if, if you really look at your life and you want to find the underlying emotional root causes, you need to look at in what kinds of situations do I really feel stuck, be that a relationship, work, whatever it is, a disease, um, whatever is the case and the, the the sentiment the feeling is i'm really stuck i can't get out of this yeah now this is just to emphasize a point this is why with with our optimal eft and eft properly done um we are we're not typically not aiming at the symptom we are exploring we're looking at what's really behind this oh i'm stuck and, and, and so on What's behind the, the tremors and the fatigue and the da, 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 what emotional issues, what specific events? And that's what that's what we aim at. And once we've aimed properly, these symptoms then start to disappear because we're aiming at their cause. Now I hope I said that right. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. And that's what, you know, the 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 main focus in EFT is looking at what are the emotional root causes of my problem. And the symptoms just point to, you know, what area is the problem in? And then as again, just to repeat, and those symptoms that point that you've resolved stress, fatigue, headaches, uh, little inflammation, a backache, stuff like that means that you've resolved the stress. Okay. All right, good. Uh, um, as you were talking about, Parkinson could be a much longer video, et cetera, but we get the highlights down and we got, we got the main point across that these symptoms one, one may get um, are not to be panicked about typically. No. Okay. No. They not are to be, although they, they're not guaranteed to show up either, but when they do show up, they should be considered normal. I, I, I guess you would say if they're just keep going on and on and on and on, well, maybe we should look, look at those. Did I say that right? Yes, because then most often you're, you're in this fear involved because you think there's something seriously wrong or the information you get keeps the program going and then the symptoms become chronic or at least, you know, keep on going. So then you need to use EFT and work with unseen therapists to get the fear out of the way and any limiting belief you have. So this is all, you know, uh, 
pointed out in the lessons, and this is what we discuss in the webinars, because there's a whole you know, way of approaching that. But if a symptom um, lasts longer than, say, a week, a week or two, then you need to work on the symptoms themselves and your fears and whatever else uh, is playing a role. Correct. Sure. Okay. Gabriel, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a thank you. very, very helpful. Uh, I hope I hope our listening audience you know, got all that we were trying to say. So we're going to sign off for now. We will uh, see you next time.